Hi, this is a very exciting day. I am having Natasha Peterson on, who is an incredible human being, a new mom who's had the most sensational, viral, transformative results, and is gonna come on now to tell us her whole story. Because to be honest, I don't even know when Natasha uh, truly started the To Be Mindset, how she approaches it. She's been doing my weight loss program and is a viral sensation inspiring literally millions and millions of others to lose weight in a way that is healthy, sustainable, sensible, not calorie counting, not macro counting, not cutting anything out. I'm waiting for Natasha to request to be on. I see she's waving um, and she's gonna request to come on and we're going to do this because she is such a force to be reckoned with. I mean, gosh, and a social media genius to say the least, but she's also others through the process and I want to know all about it so I think she should be coming on right now I accepted hi how's it going tell us everything introduce yourself the beautiful the one and only Natasha tell us everything so I'm kind of excited to share with you because I have been doing beach body I've been with beach body longer than you have um so my weight loss tell me everything start from the beginning this is like I'm learning all about you too and I feel like okay. we're all so excited to know more about you <laughs> so go back 10 years before I met my husband I had just graduated college and growing okay let me start growing up I was always the biggest one out of my friends and looking back now it's funny because I'm like, oh, well, I wasn't actually that overweight, but I felt that way because my body was different. I hit puberty before everyone. My boobs are, were bigger than everyone's. And I just felt bigger and I felt out of place. And my weight has always been a complex for me. I went to college, gained a little bit more weight in college, and I tried to lose it. And I went about it the wrong way. I did all the quick fixes. Cabbage soup diet, HCG drops, like crazy, crazy stuff. And I would lose it, but then I would gain it all back plus some. But it was after college that I had this point where I came home for Christmas. I was teaching in North Carolina. I flew back to Seattle. And I remember my mom, I got a notification via email because the Facebook app wasn't a thing that my mom had tagged me in like 87 photos. And I got that email. And I was like, I need to get home as fast as possible to untag myself. And it was that moment where I was like, this is really sad. I, I don't want to live my life like this forever. I'm the shortest one in my family, but I'm always in the back of all the photos because I didn't want my body to be seen. And that was that moment where I was like, I'm going to do something for good. And I'm ready to commit. And I know it's going to take, you know, I, at the time I had about 50 pounds I wanted to lose. I am willing to, you know, spend a year doing this. I can't do the quick fixes. I have to commit and do this the right way. And so that's when I found Beachbody because I was like, there's no way I'm going to work out in front of people. <laughs> I got a copy of hip hop abs from Amazon and I started doing it. And I went on YouTube trying to find like, what should I be eating? I, Alana, this is so embarrassing. I thought that like healthy food was Costco muffins and Caesar salads. <laughs> like, I mean, listen, there isn't a lot of guidance out there. I was just talking or like hearing from Steph, who's also done my program. She's like, they don't teach you how to do finances in, when you're in elementary school. They don't tell you how to style your plate when you're in, in school. Like, you have to learn nutrition in a really sensible way. I'm, I can't wait. So keep going. Your story oh, yeah. is amazing. Obviously, I can relate perfectly. And obviously, so many others can as well. Yeah, but remember the food pyramid used to be, like, all carbs on the bottom, right? Yeah, we um, all need 11 servings of bread a day and, like, this many fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. So I lost the weight. Um, I felt incredible. I started, you know, some of the things that I learned was shop the perimeter of the grocery store, eat, you know, whole foods and drink a lot of water. So the very first week, and this is, I swear by this, and I know this is your number one tip too. I started drinking a gallon of water a day. And in one week, just, mine too, just in a week, I lost five, just that. And so I always say, just focus on water, 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 water first on water. <laughs> um, so I started, and, but my foods were boring. I was eating like grilled chicken and broccoli because I didn't really know. Um, but I had a lot of success. Like a steamed sweet potato, like the same just broccoli or green beans or spinach or broccoli or green beans or spinach, like classic. I hear that from people all the time. Okay. Um, I lost about a little over 50 pounds in five months and I felt amazing. Like I went from being the girl who used to make up excuses. Like I can't run in PE because, you know, it hurts my back. 
And I was like, you know what? I can do anything. I trained for a half marathon and I ran my very first half marathon and I felt incredible. And it's really funny because looking back now, I mean, I didn't really have any boyfriends growing up. And I really think it was because I didn't, I didn't think I was worth loving. And my weight loss journey, when I first started, I gained so much confidence and I felt so good. And that, that's when you attract the best. That summer I met my husband and like, he had no idea that I had just gone through this huge transformation and I had met him and I was like, he really does love me because I am awesome. <laughs> and I felt so good. And so we got married about a year that later. Is, that I really want everyone to admire that because it's so true. Like when you're in your best place, you always attract the best person. And I'm, I love setting people up and I'm like a matchmaker in my side hustle. And it, it's so true. It, it doesn't matter what size you are or what you look like at all. Like everyone can meet the perfect match for them, but it has to be internal. Like you have to know that you're the best and you'll attract that yes. best. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, so I'm my husband. <laughs> Uh, I maintained the weight or the weight loss and then got married and I immediately got it um, right away. And I, so I have three kids now. So this was eight years ago when I got pregnant with my first and I had a pregnancy. So like very severe morning sickness. Like I couldn't, I had to stop working out because even doing a squat would make me throw up. Um, I could only eat carbs. Like it was bad. I would just be randomly walking down the street and like I would throw up in the bushes because I, it was really bad. Um, but the only foods I could keep down were all of those carbs. And so I, I gained 50 pounds during that pregnancy. And after that pregnancy, I shared this on my stories yesterday. I just like, after having lost so much weight and feeling amazing and then gaining it all back. And I mean, I was a new mom. I had no idea. Like I felt so insecure and embarrassed and ashamed that I had let that happen to me. And I deleted every single photo with me and my daughter. It almost brings me to tears. And I'm like, you know, after that, cause I lost the weight after I'm like, I was in like I was sad that I robbed my daughter of those memories because of my own insecurities and that I have chills I do I have chills because honestly like you inspire me so much and I think you inspire so many other people so much with the fact that like in this last weight loss like hump that you really came over and I can't wait to, to get to that but I love hearing every stage it's so admirable how much like content you collected of yourself at at the peak of your of your high weight going into the journey like which is going viral like you have pictures of you spinning and there's videos of you dancing at that higher weight and I admire you tremendously because I also ripped apart so many before pictures even postpartum like five months ago or four months ago like you know I I, I am anxious to kind of get my body back and I also have that but I it's so admirable and I love that you you realize how painful it was to mm -hmm delete all those before pictures. And so now you are more proud of them. Okay, keep going. Yeah, it, totally. Um, and I promised myself like after that, I was like, I will never do that again because my kids don't care what I look like. I even put like this video of a year ago, I was 230 pounds on my birthday and like everyone was singing happy birthday. And it was, I think that is my most embarrassing photo after I had my third. But if you look at the way that my kids were looking at me, they don't care. And no, so they just want a confident mama. That's 100% yes. like the truth. Yes. And so I told myself, like, I, this was like seven years ago. I don't care how insecure I feel. I will never do my kids. I, I want to be that mom. Like, I, I will go to the pool overweight in a swimsuit to, so my kids have a mom that plays with them. A hundred percent. My daughter always, she like literally like picked up my shirt. She was like, what is that mom? What is that mom? She picked up my shirt. She goes, oh, it's your skin. I'm like, yeah, it's my skin, Olivia. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just being proud of it and, and like, you know, being proud in your own body is like the best reflection we want our kids to kind of move on from just being proud and confident in your own body. Okay, and yourself. All right, keep going. I'll give you like the Cliff's Notes version for my son. You know, the middle child always gets the worst. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I lost the weight after Gretchen, got pregnant again with my health. I didn't have the same HG though. And so I had a much healthier pregnancy. I ate healthier, I exercised, but I still gained 50 pounds with him. Um, but it was a little bit easier to lose that time because I was more in shape during my pregnancy. And then I got pregnant with Claire. Um, and Claire, I mean, I swear it's- How old is Claire now? She's 18 months. 18, 18 months. Okay, my baby's four and a half. Okay, we'll do play dates in the future. Okay, keep going. Um, so 
I had Claire and same problem with HG, but on top of that, I started my pregnancy about like 20 pounds higher than my other. So what, what weight were you when you started your pregnancy this last pregnancy? I think I was like 165. Okay. Um, I'd like literally gone on vacation when I found out I was pregnant. I gained like vacation weight. And I was like, I can't lose weight when I'm pregnant. And then I got sick. And then it was like, okay, I can only hold down the carbs. And then um, on top of that, you know, like my weight got pretty high and then COVID happened and we were in a transition of moving from Washington to Arizona. My husband was a police officer. And so we had to finish out his contract. And so super dangerous job. I'm like, you know what? I'm at least I'll be okay. Cause my kids will be in school and I'll have the days for myself. And then schools got shut down. And so it was like third trimester pregnancy, no husband. Like I am not even kidding you. Since we moved States, we didn't bring things the day we moved into our house. Like we couldn't buy toilet paper for over a month, but luckily our neighbors supplied us. Um, and it was hard. And on top of that, like I started having really bad hip problems and even walking got painful. I was in better shape 20 minutes after giving birth than I was like the whole last 20. A hundred percent. So what weight did you get to at the top of your pregnancy I got, with all the hip pain and the carb? I got to 230 pounds. Okay. So that was always kind of like that number. Yeah. And then I'm also that person like, you know, I will never tell somebody, oh, breastfeeding makes you lose weight. No, not for me. I like hold on to everything. And yeah, I, I love breastfeeding. But when people ask me like, oh, does that help you lose weight? It's the equivalent of like blowing my nose one more time a day. Like yeah. if, I, if I'm not eating well, then the weight will stay. Like it's not like running on a treadmill. It's like blowing my nose for two minutes. Like if anything. Okay. Oh, at least like I knew I have the tools and I know how to do it. And this kind of comes with me taking all those pictures because I knew I was going to lose the weight. And since I was the highest weight ever, my lowest weight that I have ever was 132 pounds. And I'm like, I'm going to lose a hundred pounds and it's going to happen. Like I, there was no question. I knew I was going to do it. And I'm like, how can I share this journey? Like I thought, how do I want to show people like this whole journey? And you know, before I used to get depressed when I took starting photos, but now I'm like, when I was taking them, I'm like, this is going to be, this is going to go viral. This is going to be crazy. Like that was literally my thought. Yeah. Pictures. <laughs> I was manifesting. I mean, you could tell, you could tell like the lighting is great. You're positive. You're happy. You're showing your whole body and it's so inspiring and life changing. And I have a question. So when you knew, you're like, I know I'm going to be able to lose this weight. Did you already know who I was? Did you already know about my program? Oh. Yes, right? Yeah, I did. Um, so, so you knew, like, you were confident in, in, like, my philosophy, like, that you would be able to lose it. That makes me really happy. Okay, keep yeah. going. Yes. And, you know, as a mom of three, I was like, I really don't have a lot of time to meal plan. I don't have time to do this. Oh, you're going to really love, love this. I know there's somebody out here who can relate to this. Um, so I, knew we all I, can, I knew I was going to lose the weight and I was going to commit to doing the 2B mindset because tracking the plate and method, it was so easy. But when I started, if I'm being real honest, I was not committed to changing my lifestyle because I'm also a volume eater, but I like to volume eat like ice cream and cookies and chips. Like we all. And at that time I was not willing to give that up forever. I was like, and there's no way I'll do this to lose the weight. And then I'll do something else. That was my mindset. And I committed to the 2B mindset and I did it for probably like six months and was not getting results. And I, but I knew that it worked. Like I know your program works. I've even, I've helped so many women through the program. Um, and so I'm like, you know, but you didn't dive all in. Like people ask me, like, if you really look at all my tips in my book, on my podcast, on my daily Instagram, like it's like four, four, I don't know, like 5,000 things that I'm telling people that like that could lose another pound, that could lose another pound, that could lose another pound. If I'm up five, I'm not following all, all of it. Like I, I'm toe tapping in, which is great for keeping off some weight, but not great for getting to the next level. You know what I mean? There's always another way to kind of like level up and make a tweak and this and that. And if you're kind of toe tapping and you're doing a little bit, it's great for staying where you are and not gaining, but it's not enough to kind of take you to the next place. That's for sure. But I, I went all in with it. Like I knew, and I, you know, I've been on my weight loss journey for 10 years. I'm like, I'm do like, I know I am being honest with myself. I'm tracking. I know I'm doing it, but I also had some other weird things going on with me. Health. I would be up in the morning and my, my eyes would be swollen to the point where I didn't feel like I could open them. 
And one of my friends actually said, you know, you should go get your hormone levels checked out. And I was, totally. And so I was like, okay. So I saw this hormone doctor and I was, she's like, I have never seen anyone with stress levels as high as you. Like all of the Being an endocrinologist, it can be so helpful, especially for women who are like, have several years of lots of stress and lots of moving and lots of, yes. you know, pregnancies and postpartum. It's always a good idea to and, check your hands oh, from an endocrinologist. And so she got me on some supplements and I started losing weight. And then, but it wasn't coming off super fast. And so, and I was still like having the swollen eyelids and fingers and I was like, what is happening? And so she's like, let's do a food sensitivity panel. And so it turns out there were 40 different foods like gluten. I cried when it, I saw dairy on there. There's no cheese. Like it. Those are like my worst ones. And that was what was making me like swollen. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I did the whole elimination thing. And that plus two mindset, I started losing like five pounds a week. I mean, it's amazing when you discover what works for you and what doesn't. It's, and then you could probably go back to when you were doing the 2B mindset because you kept a tracker of it and you could probably see, oh my God, that's exactly why I wasn't losing weight. Like I was trying to have the Greek yogurt wonder whips and, and all those things. And everyone has to, I mean, you have to know what's best for your body, like for first yeah. and foremost. Well because I was tracking, I was like, you know, I bet it's the dairy that's doing it. But I wasn't willing to give it up. So I was like, until a doctor tells me and I actually see it on paper, I'm not giving up cheese. Right. So. Okay. I'm so, by the way, there's so many amazing dairy free cheeses out there now. So like, okay. All right. So, so that's when you started. That was like the real before your food yeah. sensitivities and you did my program and that's when it was just so that was the top of these like viral videos yeah so i had claire in july and then i was you know it was almost it was like 10 months where i was really struggling but i wasn't willing to accept that and so i'm like so I'm you continued stop. breastfeeding but your weight just like kind of was staying the same well, and everything stopped breastfeeding at around six months and i was like okay maybe this will help and i still like i right. wasn't Oh, but I wasn't willing to like, just say, this is going to be my forever. I'm like, I'm getting answers. I'm doing this. I know that life never is too late to get it together. Like nothing yeah. is forever. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then I was about, it was like 10 months, you know, that I kind of stayed around two thirty. Um, and then it was about July of last year when really the weight started coming off. So I'm down 87 pounds. And yeah, most of that happened from, I mean, yes, like that's my postpartum journey and it's been 18 months, but most of the weight loss actually happened since July. So, I mean, how many months ago was that? And it's the, and, and this is like, this is for sure brought you down to like an even lower weight. Like, I feel like you're at a lower weight now than you were in previous years too, right? Like you look so strong and healthy. You look I amazing. Look, like I just, and like even cutting out some of those foods and eating veggies most is like, it has... It, like, I feel so good all the time. So here's the other thing I wanted to tell you. So remember how I was like, I'm not changing my lifestyle forever. Like I'll do this to lose the weight, but I can't do this forever. Cause I want to, I want to eat a pint, like pints of ice cream and stuff. And so my husband and I, we commit, like I started getting results and you know, everyone's like, how do you get motivated? Motivation is BS. BS. Yeah. Motivation is not real. But you can earn motivation by being disciplined. With action. You, yeah. You, I, like, what do I, I always say, like, I don't exercise and eat healthy. Like, I, I'm not motivated to exercise and eat healthy. I exercise and eat healthy to be motivated. Like, yes. action, like, deed yes. before creed. Like, action, action. Just stop overthinking and just take action, okay? And start getting the results. That's the motivation. Because I'm like, yeah, down five pounds. I want to keep going. Like, you... I want the results more than I want the other things. And so my husband and I, we started losing weight and we had, um, we had a trip plan to go to New Mexico for a hot air balloon festival with our kids. And I was like, we're going to stay on track. And I'm always like, you know, if we're on vacation, like I don't want to be on track on vacation, but I was like, I'm committing and I want to show people that it's possible. And it was that trip that like totally changed, changed your life forever. Yes. We went out to eat. And we ordered veggies most and we made some swaps and I like going into this. You end up enjoying the vacation more. Like people yes. don't get this. Like I literally have clients who go on these most astronomical vacations, like private planes to Fiji. If they come back 
I was in vacation mode and they gained 12 pounds because there was too many margaritas and nachos by the pool. They will tell me it was the worst vacation ever. Like, oh, but you know what? I really don't want to go back. And, and then I have someone who like goes to like the basement of their mother-in-laws in like two degree weather that they dread, but they made healthy choices. They come back and they're like, you know what? It was a really, really good trip. And I'm, I'm now more confident to go back next year. And she's really happy that I feel better about it. It's like when you take care of yourself in different parts of the world, you gain like a whole nother high of confidence that uh -huh. you really own your body and you're empowered in your place. And you could have a good time by just choosing to have a good time. And then you find like actual cultural dishes of the places you're in that are actually sensational and delicious and inspire you to make Nepal less than Mexico or whatever it is. Okay, keep going. Uh, so <laughs> that vacation, I literally, I was like, this is gonna be miserable. This is gonna suck so bad. Like that, I thought that. And then we got there, I'm like, and our first like on our drive, cause it was road trip. We got some Jimmy John's Unwitches, which I love. And love. And my husband liked it and we're like, oh, this isn't that bad. And then we went out to eat and we got veggies most and we swapped like fries for extra side of this. And like, I actually, you know, restaurants make vegetables taste really good. Like, yeah. I was, and, oh. and talk about like three kids and wanting to actually enjoy a vacation. Like mm -hmm. if you have a massive stack of pancakes and like three liters of juice for breakfast, oh. how much do you actually want to go snorkeling? Like how much do you actually want to like, take a hike or do this. Like if you start like that on a trip, you, all you want to do is lay down. Like it just sucks the energy. Like when you eat well and you make the healthy swaps and you do water first and do veggies most and you make these changes, like you want to explore. Like you want to make the most of your vacation. It's amazing yeah. the difference. And we, I mean, the next day we were up bright and early and my husband like turns and he's like, you know, this is the first time on vacation. I haven't woken up on the first day and felt like a piece of crap because I ate so many carbs. He's like, this wasn't that bad. We realized, we came back from vacation. We both had lost weight. We had an amazing time. And like, we're like, and I really thought, I was like, I looked at him, I'm like, I could do this forever. Like that was- Yes! <laughs> so that was kind of like my moment where I'm like, I, this, this is an easy lifestyle to have. It, it's not like a punishment because I'm eating so many veggies and it's super easy to follow and you don't it's have- It's easier. Like it's yes. actually easier. Like it's easier to like, I never want anyone to live a harder life. Like everything, I'm like such a New Yorker. Like everything has to be so efficient and easy. Like I always like when young kids like ask me for advice, like I feel like my life advice is better even than my nutrition advice because I'm just very practical, like mm -hmm. very practical, very sensible, save money, save time, have a better time. The more you plan for a vacation, the better the vacation goes. Like, just how can you eat, like, avoid meltdowns with the kids? You can do most, like, there's so much just practicality in living healthily and making healthy choices on a trip. Like, it's just, there, it has to be practical. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm so grateful for you for saying that because when you lose weight in a way that's practical and mm -hmm. easy and sensible and not complicated, doesn't make you overthink you actually get the light bulb of, I can do this forever. I don't have to live on a diet. I am so confident I can lose the weight, but I'm also now so confident I can keep it off, which is honestly like the most gratifying sin. Like that's why I wake up every day. Cause that is just like the greatest gift that I discovered in my life. And I feel like I have to share it. And like, gosh, I just love you so much for helping spread the word on it. It's so, you're so inspiring. The other mindset piece that like, really helped me is I had realized after a couple of months of doing this like my husband and I would go out for date night and I was making choices not because like I have to eat veggies most my choices were because you know that food makes me feel good and I want to I it's I get to not I have to yes and so it's like I want to eat the veggies because I know I'll feel good and I know if I have mashed potatoes like how am I going to feel after I eat that and it's like I felt really empowered about making those choices because it's not like I have to do it to lose the weight. It's like, I want to do it because I want to keep feeling this good. And I yes. don't get that. They're like, oh, you eat veggies most because you want to lose weight. It's like, no, I, it's possible to actually enjoy vegetables and like know that they make you feel good. And that's why you want to eat them. They're so sexy and amazing and delicious and sensational and wonderful and fabulous. And if you go to literally like any other country aside from America, they are like so heavily glorified it's unbelievable and then here it's like been conveyed as such a like 
silly, ridiculous, like punishment or crime. And we have to flip the switch, like lift it up. Like there's so many, there's so much variety. Like anyone who says they don't like veggies, it's the most like empty statement ever. It's like saying like, I don't like, I don't know, it, it, like, like, I don't like air. Like, air is different in a coal mine than it is at a beach. Like, you need it. So find the one that you like. Like, it's just such a bizarre thing. And again, like, thank you for helping me spread the word because you are so inspiring. You're so relatable. You're, I'm just, I, I love you so much. I'm, I'm so grateful. So, oh, so I want to do more of this because I, I see, like, people are teetering off. And I feel like we need to, we'll just keep going. Okay, let me tell you, my husband is that person. He's like, I hate vegetables. But like to the point where his mom used to make him separate meals because when he was little, he would make himself throw up if he ate a veg. Like he would gag. And he's like, I just don't like vegetables. And, you know, we saw this TikTok video and I sent it to him and it was this guy saying like, oh, you don't like vegetables? Get over it, you're an adult. Like just eat the vegetables. <laughs> and so I said, the freaking vegetables. Like suck it up and do it. Like you want to lose weight? eat vegetables. And so he started doing the to be mindset with me and he started to start liking vegetables more and he started to find ways that he'd like to give us examples of ones that he that made him start liking them more. Uh, he does a lot of the like that kale salad from Costco with the poppy seed dressing. He loves that one. He, loves he went straight to kale. Yeah, I know. Uh, Brussels sprouts, he really likes asparagus. He doesn't like like tomatoes or anything. Men love veggies. Like, yeah, literally. And it's actually interesting. It's, it's usually men who have less of a complex with it. Mm -hmm. It's usually a lot of women who've done like way more diets and like way more like bland plans that kind of come in with the stigma. But when I talk to guys, I like, I always interview guys and they're always just like, yeah, I really like carrots, really <laughs> into Brussels sprouts. A good, I love a good, like, especially an appetizer at a restaurant, like a good mm -hmm. Brussels and bacon or like shishito peppers. Uh, carrots guys love carrots I'm a big carrot guy I've heard multiple times like I feel like yeah I, it's such a there's so many yeah and I mean it got to the point so we had been doing this for several months and over Christmas you know we didn't we weren't following to be mindset as closely I mean I was following it more closely than he was but there were days where he's like man I really like I'm craving vegetables I'm like who are you <laughs> Like you the best feeling. Yeah. And he's like, I, I feel good when I eat them. And like, there's some that I like now. And, you know, my, my son takes after my husband, you know, when he, was, he would, he would gag on the vegetables, but, and my son's five now. And when David started doing this, I mean, I've been eating veggie veggies for a long time. My girls like will eat anything. I mean, my daughter loves like her favorite lunch hummus plates, but my son, like, nothing but as soon as he started seeing his dad eat vegetables he started asking for them i'm like Under, role modeling is number and, one and i'm like that is like the the thing that i love most because kids aren't gonna they're not gonna do what you tell them they do what you do and when my son was like i want to be like my dad and my dad's doing this that's how you set the example oh. and i love like it goes beyond weight loss, beyond yourself, like you can impact so many people's lives. I mean, even if you don't share it like I do, you are going to impact all of the people around you. A hundred percent. There's even studies to prove it. There are studies to show that if you're at a table with multiple people, like at a restaurant, if the first person orders and says, I'll get the burger and fries, the likelihood of everyone following goes up significantly but if the first person order says i want a burger but can you swap out the fries for a side salad literally the in the likelihood of everyone else then ordering more salads goes up also so tremendously and significantly so i always tell my clients like when you're at the restaurant be the first to order order loud if you want you don't have to order loud but the very least be the first to order so then you don't get influenced by yeah. everyone else but I if you can influence others all the better that is i never knew that that i mean it makes sense because i've actually felt that before i'm like oh that person's swapping it out i should swap it out too and you know a lot of times people are like i feel so much pressure to eat unhealthy and another thing you know i've kind of realized because my husband talks to everyone you know nothing breaks my heart more i know my husband like knows all the neighbors and stuff and he like when he started like losing weight and feeling good he started telling everyone about it 
And one thing I noticed is like, he's inspiring other people by telling him what they, they're doing. It's like, why do you feel influenced? Why can't you be the influence? Why can't it be a good thing that you are doing this and you can help other people get started? Like, I mean, it's so life changing and we need it more than ever. Like, mm -hmm. and, it, and we need it more than ever. Like, we just need it more than ever, you know? And honestly, like, it, it's not only that people get bullied for making healthy choices, but it, it's like, it's not good for mental health, you mm -hmm. know? Like, I was just talking to someone yesterday who was saying, like, after her father passed away, like, you know, everyone was convincing her to, like, you know, just yolo like you only live once like he passed away so suddenly so you know she went to pizza and she went to all these things that she wasn't eating prior and i was like and did it make you happier did it help you resolve the core of the issue that you were experiencing She's like, absolutely not and i've honestly never felt worse and i'm like it's like we really need to change the way we speak to people because i we kind of like our whole culture just pushes emotional eating and we have a lot of emotional issues as a culture like as a society like we are in a climate now in 2022 coming off a pandemic off like political wildness that like mm -hmm. we have a lot of emotions that we have to uncover and we have to solve and we have to get to the bottom to and like anyone telling you that you know it's gonna be pizza and fries and pasta that's gonna help it is one insensitive and two probably not like there's yeah. so many amazing research studies showing how mental health and physical health are so correlated and getting Are. healthier and eating healthier foods helping your gut health the gut brain connection i mean it just goes on and on and on and so it's like we have to have to push one another to eat more vegetables like and and to drink more water and to make healthy swaps and to have a more positive mindset about losing weight and setting goals if and and achieving them and not making excuses if if that's what the person can really benefit from so natasha i love you part about the 2D mindset is that extra exercise is extra credit because one thing I hear all the time is like I have to work out to lose weight it's like no you actually have to eat right to lose weight and so many people hate exercising but when you really look at exercise therapy and something that gives you energy and you don't have to do it but you get to do it if you want to like I enjoy exercise even more now and it's a celebration of like you know, when I really, when I lost, like when I was at 60 pounds down and I was like, man, easier. I feel like I'm celebrating what I've accomplished. Easier. I can do so much more and it feels really good. And that's another thing that I love. So. <laughs> yeah. People always say that to be mindset's like the gateway to beach body. Like a lot of people come in and start losing weight in a really happy and positive way. And then it makes you feel a little bit more encouraged and confident in your body. And then you're like, Oh, what else can my body do? And then especially if you have a coach like you, then you're like showing them like, there's job one, there's there's clean week there like there's all these other, you know, programs where you can like inch yourself in. And I that's why I always say exercise is extra credit. Because when I was at my heaviest, doing burpees and seeing everything jiggle and whatever, it honestly lacked my motivate mm -hmm. my motivation, like it made me want to eat less healthy because i was like oh, i'm so far everything's jumping like doing a jumping jack 100 pounds heavier like literally it took all the energy out of me and and if i did it in a mirror it like really like hurt my confidence and made me uncomfortable but when i started losing weight it also was like okay let me just start walking on a treadmill or let me just do this and then it made me more and more and more active and the fact that it is so much easier to lose weight when you are like have a couple of pounds shut off is it's a fact. And I even, I, I said that like right postpartum because when I was postpartum and I was heavier after getting like holding a plank is so much harder. Like think about how much harder it is to hold a plank when you have a lot of excess weight, like it's 10 times harder. So if you haven't been exercising and then you do something like a push up or plank, not only are you weaker in your mm -hmm. muscle and your strength, but now you're also, you're weaker and having to lift more heavy weights. So yes. it really is hard to get started in that. And that's why sometimes like, and also in order to sustain any sort of results, you have to focus more on the 23 hours a day and how you're feeling your body rather than the one hour you're exercising. Yeah. And if you ask any personal trainer or any fit person who like is fit, if you ask them how much is nutrition, I'll always ask that person. They will, yes. all, they will never, ever give you a number under 80%. Ever, yeah. ever, ever. So it, it's like, it's more about the majority of your day and what you're eating for the other 23 hours a day than it is your exercise. And I love exercise and I 
absolute need for my mental health. But that is, de I'm so happy we're kind of like ending on that note because people really need to realize it, it, it's what you put in your body. That, and also, but like, exercise can motivate you to take, you know, exercise can be great, but you have to do what's going to be the thing that's going to actually keep you motivated I mean, and excited. I was filling up like my dogs, I was replacing his dog food and I picked up this 40 pound bag of dog food and it was right around the time I had lost 40 pounds and I was like struggling to pick it up. I'm like, I can't believe I used to carry this on my body every single day. And it's yeah. I'm like, I can hold it now. How did I do that? Like, it's crazy. By the way, bringing it back to just like how all the advice I always want to give people is simple, sensible and sustainable. Like it is just easier like i'm obsessed with practicality it's just easier to be leaner like to be lean and to be fit and to be healthy literally just makes life easier like it just does living life is easier it's living life is so much easier leaner like it's a fact it's a fact like running <laughs> after kids carrying stuff getting from place to place like not huffing and puffing going going upstairs also it's safer like i know that that sounds crazy but i was in new york city on september 11th uh, 2001 like during the thing and it, it really came out that the people who were literally able to run the stairs and know the exits and were used to taking the scare stairs and not use that like literally had better outcomes so it's safer to be able to be healthier it's safer to be able to run to be able to be fit to be able to carry things to be able to prevent injuries because you have core strength and muscle strength. it's just it's a better way to live and i'm I, listen like I just, I love you. And I think we just have to keep, we have to keep getting this out there because physical health also can help with mental health. And we are in a point now where we're like, we need both so much. So we, I love you for continuing to help me on this journey and spread the word of just like a positive approach to weight loss and health. Yeah. So we're trying for number four right now. And I'm like, like literally when you came out with to be pregnant, I'm like, yes. Like, finally, I cannot wait. I didn't want to bring it up earlier, but I really, because I didn't know about your future baby planning, and I think it's awesome. I think you should have 100 kids. Um, better you than me. But I think that you should. But I really, really, really want you to watch the To Be Pregnant videos because I really think that I, hopefully you don't have as intense nausea as you did in the past, but our tips on nausea and cravings and eating through pregnancy are really awesome and i'm so pregnant in it so i think it's just like so amazing to be pregnant and to like imagine if i started like my to be mindset videos so much heavier and got thinner every one like the relatability of to be pregnant is is very cool i cannot i can't wait for that i mean i'm gonna watch them now i don't know if i'm pregnant yet keep your fingers crossed but i like i i love that i have the tools and i know like i'm not nervous about you know so often i hear from a lot of my clients that I'm just, I'm nervous that I'm going to gain the weight back. So I don't even want to try. And it's like, I don't have that fear anymore. I don't ever think. You I'm know what? And never... coming from a place of fear, coming from a place of fear never really helps people get great. You know, like it, it just, you want to go from that. The, one of the big highlights from this interview we just had that I hope everyone kind of is, you lost your weight. Like you weren't as confident you'd be able to keep it off, but you lost it because you said, that you knew for certain you'd be able to get the weight off. And if someone goes into a pregnancy saying, okay, there's a to be pregnant program. Natasha is the coach. She's going to help me get it. She's going to help me like find it and, and have the tools and find a community of others. Like I am certain I could have a healthier pregnancy than I did in the past. Like when you go in kind of with a certainty of the best outcome rather than a certainty of the worst outcome, your outcome is always better. I mean, yeah. people go in like, oh, I want to do the two-bee mindset, but I hate veggies. But it's like, go in with certainty that you will learn more, that you'll have positive results, that something good will come from it. And then you will find that. Yeah. And so many people have gotten results. Like, if you know that you're going to commit, it's impossible for you to not get results. Like, you will get results if you do it. If you do the work, it works. <laughs> if you do the work, it works. Yeah, ah, we got to take like lots of clips from this. Okay, yes. we're doing this. Guys, send hearts if you want us to do this like monthly or weekly. Yes. Because... I, so I was telling David, I was like, I'm going to drive to Alana's house and like just hang out with her. Done. Yeah. I, it's a very special time and my house is very quiet. It's <laughs> usually uh, a literal psychopathic event, which is fun.
and, 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 and it's very quiet. It's weird when it's quiet. Okay, I love you. We're doing this more. Someone said save the video. Absolutely saving the video. All right. I love you. Okay. I'm going to post it on my feed now. Okay, we're doing more of these, like, immediately. Awesome. All right. <laughs>